So I bought this pressure washer here off of Craigslist and it seemed to work pretty good at first. It started leaking around the uh, pump seals here where your uh, pistons is at. And either A, uh, the guy left it outside and it froze and busted uh, the pump packing. Or B, somebody over torqued the head bolts and messed it up that way. So today we're going to be replacing the pump packing. You can see that there. Uh, that's that piece. That second packing, then that. And then this brass retainer. It just uh, busted this brass retainer right here. And so water was spraying out. The piston goes through here and the water was spraying out past and coming out between the uh, the head and the pump. So I ordered, uh, I got online and, and researched, this is a triple A pump, it's made by Comet. And uh, I researched that these are the same parts used in the Comet ZWD uh, pressure washer pumps. And so I ordered the parts for that and I've got them in and we're gonna put this together. <clears throat> Okay, this is the Comet part number and everything for this pump. Like I say, this is a it's a triple A 9.6 GA 15C pump. These are the little brass uh, brass rings. I don't know if you can see that on camera, but uh, there's a seal that goes inside of it, seal that goes on the outside of it. <clears throat> I'm putting all three of these in there. Uh, they are separate from the actual packing kit here all right you got this little seal right here it's a lip seal if you can see that uh, but this lip seal goes in side of here and it has to go one way so that when the piston uh, goes through your water pressure is pushing on the back side of the slip seal so it'll lip down and seal so let's see if I can get that in there it's a little bit difficult we can put it in from the other side here maybe a little easier Okay, I got it down in there now. <clears throat> I don't know if you can see that, but the piston will go through this way. So the water pressure is on this side. And it will push that seal against the, the uh, piston and seal it. Alright, then you got this uh, little O-ring here. Put this O-ring goes on the outside of it. Alright. That was done, that was done. This is a triplex pump, of course. Dropping my stuff. Alright, put this one together. Now we'll put the little ring on uh, on this one, the little ring. And then, <coughs> this is the pump head right here and these go in there that flat piece goes in you have this uh, red piece here you're packing and then that other plastic piece <clears throat> sits in there like that right there and then this here goes over the top.
I like that right there. When you put it all together, you got the black paste, the red paste, the clear paste, the brass paste with the seal inside, and the O-ring on the outside. And that piston goes through here, and this actually seals the water pressure. And when you tighten the head up, uh, this brass ring right here goes against the uh, pump housing and puts pressure on this and squeezes these seals tight so that it seals the water pressure. putting on on uh, these brass rings but I'm probably gonna put some uh, dishwashing liquid on them uh, just because give a little lubricant to keep from cutting the seal now I'm gonna put just a little bit of uh, dishwashing liquid on these seals because that's what I have handy because I'm working on this in my kitchen uh, because I don't have a shop yet uh, nor do I have a wife yet, so uh, I can do that. I don't know what they recommend for putting uh, putting this together with. I'm sure this should be fine, or uh, dishwashing. I mean, uh, uh, petroleum jelly, Vaseline, or something like that. Probably be fine as well. Just trying to keep from cutting that seal right there. You push it in. Put a little more soap on it. Together. That's how all the pump packing goes. Then I'm gonna put a little, put a little uh, dishwashing liquid on these plungers here, so that they will slide on the uh, slide through the seals easily. I'm gonna bolt the head back on. Like that. And then we'll put the bolts in. And be careful not to over tighten these bolts. I don't know what the uh, torque specs is supposed to be on, but if you over tighten them, uh, it will break those brass rings. <clears throat> or if you leave your pressure washer outside and it freezes, it will also break those brass rings. And could possibly damage some stuff, but generally, when you tighten tighten uh, bolts up on any kind of manifold or anything, you want to start in the center and uh, snug those up, and then work your way to the outside in a crisscross pattern. Uh, I know I started on the outside, but I, I didn't really. Uh, even touch them, just run them up and let them touch the pump. Uh, I'm going to snug them up here on the center bolts and then work my way to the outside. Alright, 
right, so that's got everything back together. Uh, I will make a part two, and uh, we'll we'll start it up and test it and see how it works.